In this video, we will build a chat app using React and Pusher. Before we start building the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use React with any of these backend frameworks, I provided some links in the description of this video. The backend in this case, it is required. So you have to complete one backend before continuing watching this video. So if you already build the backend, let's start building the app. So let's create the app, run npx create react app and I will call the app react chat. Let's wait now till it's completed. So the project is created. I will open it with my ID. I'm using PHP storm here and uh, to run this app, run npm start. This uh, will run our project on port 3000. So I will open it here and this is our app. Now let's make some changes. I'll remove the test file and also app CSS. Uh, we have to remove this here and uh, I will remove this also these styles. So now we will use bootstrap to our app. So go to getbootstrap.com, click get started and uh, we will add the bootstrap CSS link here. So I'll paste it here. Now we added bootstrap. So right now we don't see anything and we should add a template. So go to examples. And for this example template, I'll uh, pick sidebars here and uh, I'll pick this column list group. So I'll inspect and uh, I will copy the whole HTML. So I'll copy it from uh, here directly. So uh, type com uh, control C and uh, let's go to our app.js and uh, I will paste it here. So uh, my IDE also changes uh, class to class name. If uh, your IDE doesn't, you have to change it yourself. Uh, so we have everything. I will remove this SVG here and uh, I will remove uh, all of these uh, uh, links here. I will keep only one. And uh, so I will keep the first two since uh, they are different and they will look like uh, this. So we have an error. Uh, the error should be this uh, style here. So let's remove this. And uh, this is our app. So I will add another div and I will close it. And I will add uh, here a class name container. So now it looks like this. So these are the, this should be our messages, but I will remove this uh, blue one because uh, we don't select any message. And the, these are links. So I will change them to just divs. So instead of anchor link, I will change them to div. So this is how it looks like. Now I will change uh, this uh, span here to an input. So I'll create another input here. I will add the same classes. And uh, this input will be the username. So uh, we need to add here some uh, values. So we need to add the username and set username is equal to use state and the default value will be username. So this input here will have the value to username like this. So it will look like this. We have our username here where we can change it. And uh, when we change it, 
we need to add here on change we have to set so it will be an event that we will call set username to event dot target dot value and uh, we can change our username here so it seems uh, we cannot change it so we have a mistake here because uh, this is an anchor link here and uh, every time we click we will redirect so i'll change this anchor link to a div here and uh, now this username can be changed so this is uh, the username and uh, let's add here the messages so first i will remove this uh, date here we don't need it then i will add here messages set messages is equal to use state empty array so by default we won't have any message and uh, we will loop them here so uh, messages map message and we will return this uh, html and uh, this will be message username and uh, this will be message message and uh, that's it so right now we don't have any message yet and uh, we need to add also a way to uh, add messages so i will add a form here uh, and this form will have an input i will add some class names so class name will be form so i will add it here form control placeholder will be write a message and uh, we i will create another variable here message set message so this is plural this is singular use state by default it will be an empty message so the value here will be the message and uh, when it changes on change will set so we'll call an event that will set the message to event that target that value and when we submit so we, when we type enter we'll submit the form so we'll add here on submit let's create a function submit so i forgot to say that i added a use effect here which uh, inside will put the pusher credentials so when we submit i'll add submit here and that's it so this is uh, the uh, message and i'll add some space so i'll copy this class in our index.css i'll add uh, this css so um, mean height it will be 500 pixels for the scroll area so this is our template now we can write a message which currently doesn't do anything so i have to add here event that will call the function submit and the event inside so this event we need to call prevent default so it doesn't refresh our page so if we write a message here hello and type enter it won't refresh our page if we type enter so everything is correct till now and uh, now we need to connect with pusher so before we sign in make sure to build the backend this app won't work if uh, you don't build any backend so if you already build a backend we can sign in now here i am at uh, the dashboard and uh, 
I will go to my channel here and uh, to make the connection click get started and uh, we have uh, the JavaScript way here so we need to copy this code and I already have a use effect here so I'll paste it here so we don't recognize pusher here so we have to either use this but I don't recommend this I recommend using npm so here we need to write npm install pusher js and uh, we will get pusher better like this let's uh, import it here on top so import pusher from pusher js and uh, these uh, uh, parts are highlighted which uh, they will work fine so i'll change this to a constant and also this to a constant so if you already build the backend this channel name here is chat and uh, this uh, event name here is message so these are the only two changes here but uh, we need also to set uh, the messages here so we have to populate uh, the messages so i'll create here a variable uh, mess all messages and this will be an empty array by default and uh, if uh, we get the data here messages so all messages i have to push the data so we will add it here and also set message messages to all messages and that's it basically uh, but to get these messages here we have to send uh, a request to the backend and uh, we can do that by sending a submit request here so i'll make this function asynchronous and uh, here i'll send a post request to http localhost port 8000 slash api slash messages so this is uh, our endpoint that we created in the backend our method will be a post request the headers will be content type application json and we need to send the body and the body will be json stringify will send the username and uh, our uh, message so the username and the message like this so we already have them and uh, when we finish so if this request is sent i will set the message to an empty string so so that's it we finished uh, the app and now what is left is to test uh, this app so i have uh, two browsers here one is chrome and one is safari and we can write messages So we can write this message here and uh, we'll get it simultaneously here and we can write a message also here and not sure why it's not appearing so this is uh, probably a pusher problem sometimes uh, it doesn't uh, get the messages directly now I got them so uh, that was a pusher problem and uh, this is our chat so thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, make sure to like share and subscribe thank you